for 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 spirit episode nine one of the final battle episodes this episode starts off with um little Roz being stuck in a little hole little Roz then demands cinder to obviously uh get ready for the ritual and decease of any of the um people in the cloud kingdom our episode starts with kai dropping wildfire with his new climber mech um, obviously they've reached reached the top uh, and have to face some wolf warriors. Um, however, on Lloyd's end, he has a vision how the Cloud Kingdom will fall. New Frasier being sent through to be uh, to allow by Lord Ross to allow a Forbidden Five member out, which doesn't happen. Well, Lord, we don't know if we'll allow that to happen. Um, Jordana um, gets ready to take Bunzel to the spirit, um, to, to the ritual, uh, by Ar the buggy Aaron had. Zane, Cole, and the sorcerers try to free themselves. They do. Now they're pretty much locked in this, um, mushroom. I really did not know how to fe feel about this B-plot here, um, as it was pretty skeptical and weird. Aaron and Ryu sort of had this moment. Aaron and Ryu, uh, ch ch go straight down to the, um, moon and i think they catch a hold of uh the buggy so they chase after it ryu learns how to fly uh we get Aaron, so uh, sora wildfire and kai moment it's absolutely cool um to see how these characters interact Sora obviously you can't use her powers in this situation but um the way these three characters interact to fight uh, is just epic Aaron and ryu chase up to the buggy stop uh Jordana. Every, everyone doesn't know who Jordana is except for Aaron, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, they start to fly off. Uh, Bunzel says, basically, you're a ninja. Uh, get me out of here. Uh, and uh, she asks, what's your element of power? Sarcasm. <laughs> which is hilarious. Can't wait to shoot it to Jay. Um, of course. Um, keep going down lines. I didn't know how to feel about this. This is more sorcery gimmick stuff, and I actually thought it was bogus the first time I watched it, but it was quite funny. She throws the teapot of Tehran and, and these other cool stuff at the ninja. I called Zane. <laughs> it, it's actually pretty uh, fun to rewatch. It's actually, um, we've seen some really bad stuff like this being done in previous Ninjago seasons, um, throwing at, throwing at characters, but it's actually done pretty epically. Um, and it actually has a plot reason to it it does help the plot move um which not many episodes could call to that uh the N Cole, zane and um the sorcerers go up to s try to stop the clanking to see if they can hopefully stop the s spell but they do tend to stop something else up there uh well the other ninja are all heading to the red blood moon um kai and um wildfire and sora there to stop it the other ninja are obviously going to go straight to the blood moon you can see they have the wolf masks on uh lord raz finds it about uh, jordania's failure lord raz pretty much catches up to Eren and pretty much tells him he needs a stronger master the ninja are basically putting him down um anyhow back to all that lord raz starts his plan and i've just got to say um this episode, for a final battle episode, not being the ninth, like the first part of the final battle, it's just, it's on the tip of your tongue. It's the taste, it's the bread, it's the pitter. It's the pitter paddle of the 10th episode. Now, is it a good episode? Hell yeah. Um, I don't think Ninjago can capture episodes like this properly um, in previous seasons. Where your final battle, your part one to the final battle has to be, has to be good. Um, is this good? I think better than good. I, first watching this, didn't think it was as good. I'm um, just bad seeing his B plot. Um, but it's actually done magnificently. Um, Ninjago did very well, and um, if I was to compare this to a if. I, if the first 10 episodes was a season, which I know it's not, um, but obviously it has to wrap up as a sort of season, I would say this um, is a lot like Possession and Tournament of Elements, where part one is of, of the final battle, which Tournament doesn't have, is um, it's pretty conclusive and it has to end in sort of a cliffhanger for episode 10 to outrise. For the ritual to be starting properly in 
this episode at the end and leading on for Tenth being the final battle, we get the ninja also coming to an idea where we have to go. Having it snap bang here, boom. Boom looking for this here is just epic. Ninjago handled this um, episode perfectly and I'm looking forward to it. But let me know your thoughts about episode nine. Soon will be episode ten. Let's get on with it.